Uh, so what about the rain? We will get some rain and there's been a few showers trying to sneak into the area. I want to point out in Key West, you are dry right now, but Big Kapiki, you're about to get some rain. It's starting to enter your area. The shower kind of expanding a bit, becoming a little wider, and then uh, it's tracking towards the west. So eventually it's going to get into Key West. West of Key West, there is a shower, but that's pulling away from you. All right, all the way up in Broward, a few showers trying to pop up over the Parkland area, Coral Springs, and then over US 26. But again, these are mainly going to stay over the Everglades. However, later on in just uh, about two hours, we'll probably see some of the rain popping up a little closer to those inland cities. And this is what's going to look like is basically a lot of these thunderstorms will stay away from the east metro areas. Now, I think that Broward will get some heavy downpour. So let's take a closer look at this. Uh, later on around 2 p.m. That's when we'll see that most of the heavy rain is actually out west over the Everglades. But by this time, some of those clouds over us are going to start to tower up into thunderstorms. So after 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, there'll be an isolated thunderstorm between Coral Springs and Sunrise. And then maybe one developing near Miramar and also Pembroke Pines. Then around closer to the evening hours, 6 o'clock, I will say, a thunderstorm could develop near Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach. So that will hit closer to the East Coast. Then we start to dry things out as we head into the nighttime hours. And we're going to keep doing this. There's plenty of moisture that's surging in from the Gulf of Mexico. We have still that stalled boundary right over the southeast. And so all this moisture is just hanging around. It really can't go anywhere. Our steering flow is very light, very low. High pressure is too far from us. So that high will continue to roll on over the Atlantic. You notice this cold front. That cold front is going to be the big one for much of the east areas of the U.S., eastern half of the U.S., because it's going to bring a big cool down behind after the big warm up out ahead of the front. So this front is expected to pass through uh, by Friday, but it's going to stall here in South Florida. But that front plays a huge role in pushing the high away from the U.S. coast and allowing for Tropical Storm Peter to stay away from the Bahamas and move in that northeasterly direction later on in the weekend. Bermuda will have to stay on alert just in case Peter comes closer to the island of Bermuda. Now out in the Atlantic, there's another tropical storm. It is Rose and then there are these two other areas that we're watching, but they're pretty much really far away from us. The one to watch is to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands, which will have a good chance for development. There's tropical storm Rose staying away over the open waters and eventually moving into much cooler waters. Now as far as our this is from yesterday, we don't want that. We want the seven day forecast, which is actually not popping up. There we go. Finally, highs today in the low 90s.